The easiest way to book your practical test is online. By visiting direct.gov.uk forward slash driving test, you'll be able to check if your preferred date and time is available and book it there and then. But you can book by phone or post if you prefer. The best way to learn is by combining your professional lessons with private practice. Try to get as much experience on the road as you can. On average, those who pass the test have done about 45 professional lessons and about 20 hours of private practice. On the day of your test, you'll need to take these with you. Your photo driving license, you'll need both parts of this, your theory test pass certificate and your appointment letter or booking number. If you've got an old style paper license, you'll also need to take a valid passport with you. Remember these or you won't be able to take your test. When you get to the test centre, your examiner will check through your paperwork in the waiting room. They'll also ask you if you want your driving instructor or accompanying driver to come with you on your test and be there at the end for the result and feedback. This is beneficial for your driving development, so don't forget to talk to your instructor and make sure they know this is what you'd like to happen. Your test will last about 38 to 40 minutes. You'll do an eyesight check, be asked some safety questions and then go out on the road. You'll drive in various road and traffic conditions and also be asked to drive independently for approximately 10 minutes either by following traffic signs or a series of verbal directions or perhaps a combination of both. You'll also be asked to complete one of the following reversing manoeuvres. Turn in the road. Parallel parking, either on the roadside or into a parking bay at the test centre. Reversing around a corner. One exercise will be selected at random by the examiner, but you should have been practicing all of them with your instructor and or accompanying driver. And you will be asked to do a controlled stop. On several occasions, the examiner will ask you to stop on the left. This is to ensure you can stop and move away safely. You may also be asked to demonstrate an emergency stop. Stop! This will be carried out, again randomly, in one out of three driving tests. If you drive to the standard required, you will pass. If you make more than 15 driving faults, or commit a serious or dangerous fault at any time, you will fail. Remember, if you're well prepared when you go for your test, you shouldn't find it difficult. If you didn't have your instructor or accompanying driver with you on your test, you can now call them over to hear your result and listen to the examiner's feedback. Thank you. That is the end of the test and you have been successful. Pass or fail, your examiner will give you feedback on your driving, including eco-safe driving, which helps protect the environment and may save you money. If you're successful, you might be able to have your full licence sent to you automatically. To do this, you'll need to leave your provisional licence with your examiner. You should receive your full licence within three weeks. Did you know that once you've passed your test, you can get further training that could save you money on your insurance? Check out the Pass Plus video for more information.